Here I'm with El Escalus hippocastanum, the common horse chestnut. Now for us in Tennessee, especially East Tennessee, and definitely if you're in West Tennessee, uh, this is not a plant that you're gonna be planting a lot or using a lot. This actually would thrive a lot better, say in areas like the Great Plains, uh, on the other side, between St. Louis and Colorado, uh, maybe a little bit farther north, Ohio, uh, those kind of places, they can really grow the heck out of common horse chestnut. This is an oppositely arranged compound leaf, palmately compound leaf, and I've got one here in my hand and you can see this palmately compound leaf. Uh, one of the kind of defining characteristics of the common horse chestnut is if you find the apical bud here, it's always sticky, and so you put your finger on it and it is sticky, very tacky to the feel. And so uh, this is a medium-sized tree, can grow quite large in the right conditions, uh, but for us in Tennessee, gets kind of summer scorched. Uh, and in particular, this one is in a raised planter, not a great place for a common horse chestnut. Aeschylus hippocastanum, the common horse ch chestnut, opposite, opposite leaf arrangement, palmately compound with some fine serrations on the edges of the leaflets, 50 to 75 foot high, 40 to 70 foot wide, upright oval, kind of an over, overall rounded shape to the tree. It does have a fairly nice yellow fall color. It's hardy from zones four through seven. And so in Tennessee, where we're looking at this tree, we're really bumping up against its hardiness, uh, its hardiness zone, uh, but it's a great plant that you need to know. It does get leaf blotch, leaf scorch, some powdery mildew problems, leaf spot, uh, some different things can impact uh, the common horse chestnut. Likes moist, well-drained soil, and uh, where the conditions are right when planted in the open, uh, this tree can really gain some grandeur to it. Uh, tall, uh, spiky uh, plumes of a bloom uh, in the early spring uh, that can be quite beautiful as well. Here's a landscape tip. Cannot handle extreme dry conditions. Fruit is a buckeye. Fruit is a buckeye.